Hey guys, so I am a verified educator on an academy and along with that I am also available on the Unacademy Plus platform where I am taking live classes along with other educators. So in case you are interested in attending the live classes, you can subscribe to the Unacademy Plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount. All right. And in case you are not interested in attending the live classes, you can watch the free courses that are available on the Unacademy. For that, all you need to do is go to the Unacademy website or download the Unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is ACT. Once you do that, you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the Unacademy platform. All right. Now let's begin with the video. Hey guys, a very good morning to all of you. Now I was thinking that this channel has been quite old now, about two years now, right? And many of you who are preparing for exams are now doing their PhD or are somewhere else, right? So especially for those of you who are into research, I thought, you know, I'll sh I should share some uh, interesting articles that I get. Even though I've been sharing this on the Facebook group that is Reagent Blues, uh, but I feel, you know, in videos I can explain better and it, it will have a uh, more it will have more impact as compared to you know if i just share the article so today i found a very interesting article uh, this was in this journal drug discovery today it's a very very uh, promising journal and it's a very well reputed journal now uh, this topic that using social media um, to do research was very interesting and that's why i am i am discussing this one with you today so what the scientists thought out was there's something called as drug repurposing okay first of all you should know about something called drug repurposing now what exactly is drug repurposing so basically to get a drug a new chemical entity into the market right from the designing of that particular molecule up to its uh, release in the market it takes roughly about 15 years okay that's how extensive and that's how costly uh, the whole market is like you need to you need about one or two billion dollars just to get the drug into the market right that's how extensive the research is and there also you know it the drug can fail at any point of time there are so many clinical trials that happen it can fail at any stage so there are a lot of uh, ambiguities which are associated with it right so now this uh, term drug repurposing how or from where does it come from so basically if a drug has already been released by let's say a particular company okay in the market all these studies extensive studies that are required have been done now what happens is some drugs uh, they are obviously for the disease that they were intended to they show uh, some good uh, activity against that particular disease right they bring some relief but sometimes these drugs also bring relief against some other unanticipated uh, disease as well right so it was made for a particular disease let's say it was targeted um, to treat alzheimer's but it was found that it was um, anti-inflammatory as well right so if if a drug has multiple uses uh, which were not earlier known it was only let's say uh, released for Alzheimer's disease later on it was found that it also is anti-inflammatory so then it was remarketed as an anti-inflammatory drug okay so that is what drug repurposing is that taking an old drug or taking a drug which is known for a, some other disease and remarketing it or rebranding it and uh, treating it for other disease now what it does is it saves a lot of money right because you don't have to do all the extent extensive toxicity research and everything whatever research has to be done has already been done so you just have to repurpose the drug rebrand the drug and that way it is very cheap uh, to do drug repurposing right so what these uh, scientists thought those, those who published this article i'll give you the link to the article down in the description box um, they thought that why not make use of social media to run out surveys through which we can get information if a particular person so these days in america almost every other person is suffering from multiple diseases nobody is just suffering from one disease they are suffering from multiple disease so they thought they'll take out a survey where they will ask the uh, people who are taking the survey that is there any drug that they have taken for a particular uh, cure and it actually cured some other you know some other disease as well like apart from curing that particular disease for which they were taking did it cure some other disease as well so what they did they gave out these forms on social media so in the end they got 49 responses and on in those 49 responses they were able to decipher 
two drugs which could be potentially repurposed see, see this is something very innovative and something something very nice making use of social media to do something really good right like drug repurposing similarly i just want to suggest that if you want to do medicinal chemistry or if you want to do natural products if you want to work in natural products uh, you know there are so many traditional medicines especially if i am talking about india there's so many traditional medicines that our parents our grandparents are you know uh, people around us in villages use um, and uh, you know they get cured right uh, like some sometimes i've also heard uh, there are plants which uh, you know um, which basically villages used to uh, to cure diabetes right so there's so many things there's so many traditional medicines uh, traditional medi uh, medicines which are there uh, which are waiting to be explored right that what is the active ingredient in that particular uh, particular in that particular plant or in that medicinal plant right so there's so many things that are waiting to be explored in you know uh, secluded parts of india so if you are into that kind of research what you could do is uh, you know you could uh, so it's it's a i'm telling you it's a very tedious process you have to take a lot of those medicinal plants then extract the compound using various techniques that are available right and then find out the active ingredient and then you know you can do some kind of uh, derivatization on that particular molecule and you know you might just end up with a, a very very potent drug right uh, yeah so this is what i just wanted to share with you guys right and uh, maybe in a few days i'll be making a video about the scientific tools that are very basically which are very basic and required by every chemist who is doing research right so what are the various softwares that you can use what are the various tools which are there for scientists right so i'll be sharing all these things then there is a particular platform i don't know many of you might be knowing already about researchgate it's a very good platform to ask scientific questions or questions related to your practical work right so there are many such things that i would want to share with you guys and i will be definitely making more and more videos uh, which relate uh, to the research field as well right so anyway i hope you found this uh, video useful if you did please Give it a big thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.